y'all. It's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I have a haul to share. It's mainly Dollar Tree. I'll be right back. Dollar Tree and there's not much it's just a small little haul um, but I also got my HS and craft day order that's just one item I ordered this caliber staple gun it's a cordless electric staple gun um, I have one of those really heavy-duty ones that you have to pull the trigger and I have a really hard time pulling the trigger now and the last time I used it my hands weren't as bad as they are now so I thought um I seen it and I'm like that looks kind of cool and how he goes yeah and he goes I think you should order that one because because neither one of us can pull the trigger on the other one anymore and he said yeah so I ordered it because there are times that I need to use a heavy duty staple gun and um especially if I start doing more of the Dollar Tree crafts where you kind of disassemble and then reassemble you know, kind of, what do they call it? Up, 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 upscale. <laughs> there's a, there's a word for it. I don't know what it is, but basically, you know, modifying what they have. The rest of it is all Dollar Tree. Um, I have a star wreath to do, an anchor wreath, and then I have three summer wreaths to do, but I want to get the, I want to at least get the star one done pretty quick here. They didn't have much patriotic ribbon, so I wasn't able to find that. And I still haven't 100% decided how I wanted to do it, but I figured I would at least use one of these bows. I probably should have bought two packs of them now that I think about it, just to have them on hand, because they are pretty nice bows for a dollar and a quarter. Um, so I picked those up. And then I picked up these, because I thought I could even just take the them off, take the heads off and Lay them on a tiered tray. I did buy some of these a few years ago. I don't think it, I want to say that was that family dollar, but they sometimes carry Dollar Tree stuff because they're connected. So Dollar Tree could have had them too. I see this one's missing one, but that's okay. I just wanted a few to be able to stick on like a tiered tray or some something, or even maybe maybe I'll even think about getting more of them because they would look cute in the back of that little um wheelbarrow I bought too for the patriotic holidays and I picked up these two mainly because I was looking for the foam stars that are in the separate pack which actually I think look a little nicer than these ones and I couldn't find them so I thought well these ones will do in a pinch because I have a project that needs a star or two and I wanted some of each color and this one only had white and blue and this one only had blue and red so I bought two so that I would at least have one of each color stuff. 
and I'm sure I can put the flowers to use somewhere. And I bought this because I'm going to cut at least one of them apart for the stars for a crafting project. I should have checked my stash because I might actually have some flat back star stars, but I can always check that before I cut them apart. I'll use them at some point. I did buy some more of the rounded corner dice because I wanted to be able to make more of the marshmallow people. I cut out a bunch of faces when I did um, the last set, so I'd like to use those up. I could probably even use a couple more of them. Like I said, I won't put all these out at one time, but that way I can kind of change the faces out. I thought about even putting a different face like on the back because you know usually you only see one side of it, but I thought, well, if I put it someplace where you can see both sides, that's not going to work. So, but, and then I picked up some of this ribbon. I couldn't remember which one Happiness is Homemade shared. I couldn't, didn't know whether it was this one or this one. So I picked up both of them. I should check her video again. I know she used one of them on her faux pies because it kind of looked like a crust. I'm thinking it may have been this one, but it could have been this one. So I just picked up both of them. You, you can always use ribbon. And then I picked up another one of the ones that could be used as a book stack. I'm trying to pick up one or two of these. Either this style or the other style when I go because I've seen so many different crafts with them that I want to have some on hand so that when I see somebody share something like that and I want to make it, I don't have to worry about trying to find it at Dollar Tree. And then I picked up a couple of the coastal things because I thought these could possibly work on um, some of the wreaths that I'm doing for summer. Or I could even just use these on a tiered tray. They, they are little clothespins. I could even clip them onto the, a tray somewhere and use them as you know decor there. So, and this one's very coastal, but this one you could almost use on a patriotic tray because it's red, white, and blue. It kind of could work on either tray. But that is all that I bought. Like I said, it wasn't a ton, but I wanted to share it so I could get everything put away. I do better if I get things put away. I, I still, and I think I keep cutting it out of videos. Tiffany still doesn't have a date for the next GOC. So I am thinking about doing one on my own because I really need to get caught up on my cataloging and I still need to finish going through my scrap rack and adding, I'm adding um, cardstock liners in the pocket so that I can put stuff front and back and see it, still see it easy. My eyes aren't getting any better. <laughs> so that really does help with me really seeing what's there. Um, I got most of the way through the scrap rack, but I need to finish that. I need to integrate my cooking category into the scrap rack because part of it's just an AFAB file. And I need to go through all of, all of my binders. And I think I have four of those, one for each season. So I want to go through those and line them too. And I usually try to straighten out my paper and look and see is there anything that I can just, that I should just get rid of at this point. Sometimes there's just like themes that you just no longer do. I have kept my education childhood theme mainly because my daughter is a teacher. Sometimes she wants something made for her classroom and some of that works. So I probably, that's one theme that I probably, even though I don't use it for myself, I would probably keep so that when I mean, there's no point in her having to go out and buy things if I've already got it, you know. And no, nine times out of ten, I'm just like, I'm sure I have something that'll work. But if she wants something really specific, um, sometimes I'll say, well, let's take a look and see what I have. And you can, if you don't like that, then you can go, you know, get something else. But usually she's not real particular about what she uses. I just usually try to maybe tie some of it into her theme, but we use a lot of solid colors for letters and stuff because they're easy. It's easier to read those, but that's really all I've got to share today. If you are interested though, I forgot to 
I kind of got off track there. If you are interested in participating in a GOC with me, let me know. I'll, I'll tell you, um, I'm thinking about just planning on doing one. Now, if Tiffany starts one part way through, I might just stop and pick back up when her starts, depending on how much notice she gives. Um, she says what they're trying to do is coordinate with somebody else. They've got a couple of other companies that were interested in like sponsoring or coordinating with her to do a challenge. So they're trying to get like, so that's why she's having a hard time setting a date because they have to coordinate with whoever they partner with. I kind of wish she would just kind of say, okay, let's pick one further out to partner with and let's just do one right now on our own. Because I really miss when she used to do two or three. At one time she did three a year and then it went down to two and now it's been over a year since she's had one. So it's like, are we going to miss the whole year? <laughs> but so just let me know if that'd be something you'd be interested in. We would just use Tiffany's old videos. I do think maybe, I'm not 100% sure. I was trying to look up how many subscribers you needed to go live. At one time it was 1,000, now I'm seeing the number 50. If it's 50, I can go live. If it's 1,000, I can't, because I only have just over 500. But um, if that's something anybody's interested in, I could kind of maybe try to do a live at a certain time or something and answer questions you know if anybody had any questions otherwise it would basically be on Tif Tiffany's using Tiffany's videos and through the GOC or I could do it through my Facebook group so it's just kind of let me know if it's something you're interested in participating and whether you'd rather do it um, me to, if you'd be interested in me doing like a video a quest a Q&A video if I can't go live, I could always have you submit questions and I could try to go online and answer, go on, go live or record a video answering those questions even. I could find some way to make it work. And like I said, I, I sometimes my answer might vary a little from Tiffany's, but it gives you a basic ideal kind of, a lot of it really comes down to personal choice, but I know sometimes it just kind of helps to know how does somebody else do this. And would you rather we have the kind of go along in the Get Organized with Totally Tiffany group? Because I'm sure she won't have a problem with me doing it. Or would you prefer to do it in the Barb's Craft Studio? Because that is a lot smaller group right now. I think I only have 50 or 60 members. But anybody is welcome to join that. Just so you know, I share my crafts in there. Um, I try to share... When Tiffany has sales, I try to share that. I try to share when HSN has a craft day. Um, sometimes I'll share um, if Diamond Press has a special sale. I used to do um, Stamps of Life, but I don't really shop with them much anymore just because I'm trying to watch my budget. And I found when I was when I was in the club, I spent way more with her than what I should have. <laughs> so I, I dropped out of that because of the budget. and. I haven't really, I think I've only ordered once since I dropped out of the club. It was so much more tempting to order when you got that extra discount. <laughs> but anyways, let me know your thoughts on the GOC, if it'd be something you'd be interested in participating with, or whether you'd rather just wait for Tiffany, or if you're just totally not interested in it. Um, so I can kind of decide. Like I said, I think I'm going to do it on my own regardless, but I just wondered if, you know, it's always kind of fun to work with, along with other people with that. So just let me know if that's something you have an interest in. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.